Allison here and in today's video tutorial we are going to learn about how to use the save or send records to Excel feature and what the difference is between that and export to Excel. So let's get started. So I am here looking at a list of orders and I am going to find uh, the January orders for this year by just typing in the number one for the month of January and it will default to the current year. And I'd like to go ahead and uh, export these uh, to Excel. So typically what I would do is go to file and then export and we'll call it January uh, orders 2018 and we can name it if we wanted to and I already have some fields in my export order if I wanted to pull another one the date I can uh, choose that and go ahead and move it up and uh, there's another little uh, option here apply current layouts data formatting uh, to export a data and what that means is it will export and for example the currency formatting will be retained or kept uh, when it's opened in Excel so we'll go ahead and choose that and it is popping up on the other monitor here so or other screen so I'll just pull it over and you can see where it retained the um, dollar or currency formatting and there's our data uh, you know, not too difficult, but you are uh, fussing with the export and uh, moving fields around, etc. And so to make things a little quicker, and nine times out of ten, probably what you want to do anyway is export the data that you're looking at. Uh, so if you go to the file menu and under um, save send records as, you can choose the Excel option and we'll call it January 2018 orders and same thing we'll automatically open it and we'll save it and I'll bring it to my other screen and oh it's hiding come on out there you are and you can see that the columns are exactly the same that we had on our layout we didn't have to specify an export order uh, we didn't have to move anything around uh, it's all there order number date channel status sales rep contact uh, oops sorry about that uh, sales rep contact company uh, whether the contract was received, the PO number, and the total. And just like that, uh, in one quick swoop from file to send to, to, um, oops, I'm in Excel, back in FileMaker, uh, to uh, save send records as Excel, and you have a uh, set of data uh, all looking and uh, sort of lined up exactly like you have it in your FileMaker database. So that's our short video tutorial on saving or sending records uh, to Excel uh, from a FileMaker database. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.